Hello, how you doing? This is Steven from Ask One Mac Tech. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to disable Notification Center. The reason why is a couple days ago I had um, a uh, instructional aide come up to me and ask me, can you disable Notification Center? And so I did a little digging online and I'll put the link to where I found it. And um, this is a great idea because when you're managing labs, uh, you don't want this to come up unless you unless you want this to come up in your lab. Um, you, you know, students are smart these days. They join Facebook and uh, iCloud and all these things. And they give them notifications and they'll pop up and it gets annoying. And in, in a lab environment, you really don't need a uh, notification center at all. So this would be a great, uh, great way when you're uh, creating your image before you deploy your image is to disable notification center. So I'm going to show you exactly how you do it. So we're going to uh, click on terminal here and uh, I pasted, copy and pasted the, uh, the command line here. So this is the, uh, the Unix command that you need to uh, uh, copy and paste in here into to, uh, terminal. So basically if you want to turn it off, um, this is the first thing you need to do. You need to go into your uh, hard drive and go into system, go into libraries, and you want to go to core system, find the core systems folder and you want to scroll down to notification center and where is it? It's right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a command I and we are going to rename it. And all, all I did was is put uh, space dash space uh, disable. Disabled. Oops, that's, I didn't spell that right. There we go. Hit return, and you have to authenticate. So authenticate, and it is renamed. So after you do that, after you rename it, just click off of it, and then uh, come right over here and uh, just copy and paste this here. And we're going to paste it in. And watch right over here. See where notification center is right here? Watch right over here. Watch how fast this disappears. We're going to paste it in. Boom. Done. Now, if you if you want to allow it and you're like, oh, I better put it back. Some, you know, maybe um, the instructors didn't like that or, you know. So basically what you could do is just, just copy and paste this and load it back. Copy and paste. Oops. Can't do that. Why? because we got to rename it back. So let's go back and rename it. So we're gonna to go to users, oops, no, not users, system, libraries, we're gonna scroll down to core systems, scroll down to notification center, here it is, command I, and we're gonna get rid of disabled. And we're gonna authenticate, and boom, there we go. Now see how it came back? So basically, that's what you have to do. You just rename it to disabled, authenticate, then uh, put the code in in the terminal. Let me exit out of here. Uh, put the code in in the terminal right here. I'm going to put this in the description so uh, you can just copy and paste it. And then if you want to turn it on, just uh, name it back to notification center, authenticate, and then uh, apply this here. Okay. Uh, don't worry about this. Um, you could use that to kill all too, uh, but uh, basically that's how you do it. So you can apply that to your image and uh, you don't have to worry about it again. So basically this is what I'm going to do next time. So I hope this was helpful. Um, comment, uh, subscribe, like, and don't forget to join my uh, Facebook fan page. Okay, take care.